Hey y'all, it's your girl J9E and uh, we are gonna react to a little bit of this Gwyneth Paltrow <clears throat> shenanigans. Apparently there was a ski crash, if you will. And um, Gwyneth says, this old man ran into me. <laughs> and this old man says, go with Paltrow, I ran into me. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think. So at first he tried to sue Gwyneth, okay? <laughs> Cause she's the star, of course. He found out who he ran into and he said, oh, cha-ching. <laughs> he had old dreams and aspirations. You feel me? So he said, <laughs> he tried to sue her for $3 million. Now, then of course, uh, you know, I think he, when he found out that there was cameras and such <laughs> involved, he changed it to 300,000. I guess he thought maybe if I say 300,000, she'll just give it to me. Just to get it, just to not have to show up. You know what I'm saying? Like $300,000 ain't nothing to Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> and that is what makes me think this old man tried to take her for a ride, honey. So we're going to just watch a little bit because I thought this was funny. I watched some of this, uh, this, this lawyer chick question Gwyneth Paltrow. She's from the other team. Okay. <laughs> and she's so weird. This woman, it's like this odd kind of thing. Like, so we're going to pick on it. We're going we gonna to pick on her a little bit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what you got to say, lady, in the blue suit? Okay, that ain't fitting right. What's up? We're all back. Thank you. Um, Hello. So the, the objection is sustained, and the jury should disregard the question. All right, let's go back to the day of the accident. Okay. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> you're on bandana, correct? It's a green run. Um, <clears throat> it's true you were relatively familiar with that run, correct? Yes, my children especially like that run. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the accident happened at, towards the beginning of the run. Is that accurate? Not at the top, but... Sure, but yeah. not at the bottom. Correct. All right. Um, and it sounds like from <clears throat> what I have heard and re reviewed, um, you had done about four to five runs that day, and you and... Look at this lady's hair. <laughs> Like, what you should be saying is, hey, Gwyneth, <laughs> can you help me with this situation I got going on? <laughs> I got a situation, as you can see. Hey, this is, I got a, there's a lot going on here with this here situation I got. Can you, can you help me? You need to be trying to make friends, okay, instead of burning these hill bridges like you did them ends on your hair. <laughs> That's looking awfully dry. <sighs> looking awfully dry. Just, just looks looks fried that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying okay and kind of the group we're going to go get some lunch with everyone okay. correct all right so let's talk about as you're skiing down mm -hmm. apple we've, we've talked about she was 11 moses was nine mm -hmm. did your children when they were skiing or uh -huh. doing anything that kids do like to ask you to watch them when they were very little, I remember, you know, watch me jump in the pool and, and things like that. When they were more like four or five years old, that sort of age. Exactly. So when Moses was nine, he didn't say, Mommy, Mommy, watch me. Or Mom, I don't know what he called you. But Mama. Mama. Mama, watch oh. me. Watch me do things. <laughs> Not that I recall on that day. Okay. Do you remember testifying that on that day, that's exactly what did happen? I don't remember. All right, and uh, I'll show you your deposition in sure. just a second. So in fact, during, you remember the deposition, right? Yes. Was, were your children um, asking you to watch them? And, and you said no. I, I think you- I don't remember them saying, okay. watch me on that day. Okay. Well, do you remember that in that deposition, then we played you parts of Carrie Oaks's deposition? So, Your Honor, this is improper impeachment. I mean, what's the question that's being contested? We're, we're just kind of going through the, the history here. Not through the deposition. Uh, Let's I'll, allow, I'll allow a few questions. I think counsel was referring to what was going on during depositions, but yes. uh, please get quickly to the Absol question. Absolutely. Yeah, do it, do you remember during your deposition being played just a portion of um, Apple's instructor, Carrie Oaks, her deposition, wherein she said that, yes, Moses was saying, Mommy, Mommy, watch me. That she was saying, uh, I, I don't remember, that she, that 
the, while they were skiing, they were saying that? Yeah. I, d I don't remember that, no. All right, okay. And so you don't remember then changing your testimony in your deposition, admitting that that is what happened? I, I, I'm, I'm sure if Carrie Oak said, I'm saying, I don't remember him saying, watch me, watch me. Okay. Yeah, approach your honor. You may. Yeah, this is the reason why they take statements and stuff, because it's going to take years for them to go to court. They may not remember all these tiny, stupid ass details. I bet you what she does remember is, and she does because she keeps repeating it, is this man rode into the back, uh, into the, into my back on these skis. Okay. He ran into the back of me on these here skis. Okay. This is, she keeps saying that. You know why she remembers that? Because it hurt. That's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what your equipment you got on when you skiing okay i can't hear these little voices talking about look at me look at me if they even said it i'm gonna hand you a copy of your deposition yeah i'm hand gonna it. need my reading glasses unfortunately <laughs> sorry about that i don't think there's an uh a contradiction here your honor she said uh she doesn't recall that Carrie Oaks said something. So I don't I don't know why we can't just move forward. O overruled, go ahead. Thank you. Could you turn, let's see here, to page 122 of your deposition? Sure. Yes. Okay. Oh my God, y'all. She used to date Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh my God. That's a roller coaster. I'd like the ride. <laughs> mm. Brad Pitt. Oh, can't go wrong with a Brad Pitt. And I'm going to read the question that was given by Mr. Sykes. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to know it's Mr. Sykes who asked the question when I read it. Then I'm going to have you answer. Um, now, Miss Paltrow, and this is, I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm starting on line four. Okay. Okay. Now, Ms. Paltrow, isn't it true? Isn't it true? I'm just a country lawyer here. Okay. Isn't it true that your kids wanted to watch you ski? Or pardon me, that the, the kids wanted you to watch them ski. Isn't that true? And your, your counsel, he objected. How did you answer that question? Let, let's read the objection, Your Honor, if we're going to do this. The objection was vague as to time. It is the... Uh... Do you want me to rule on the objection? I mean, what, if we're going to read it, then we should read the objection. Okay, read it. Yes, the the objection said vague as to time. Yes, yes. And then, how did you respond? I said I can still watch my children ski and be skied directly into my back by someone. I know that. And then right. you continued. I like that. So she took her glasses off just to say that. <laughs> I said that I can hear my kids and have somebody run in the back of me and then try to sue me for $3 million. All that can happen at the same time, okay? So all that I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Get them, Gwen. <laughs> Which is what happened. Exactly. So you were watching your children when you <laughs> allege that you were ski skied directly into your back by someone. My daughter was down the hill my son was to my left so i was skiing and my eyes were not fixated only on my son okay. when mr sanderson skied directly into my back okay and so when miss oaks who's going to testify next week said that your son moses was saying mommy mommy watch me okay good for him that's who you were watching right that's vegas to time your honor Over right right be, right Minute. yes Just overruled go ahead Thank you. Sorry, what was the question? Yeah. When when Moses is saying, mommy, mommy, watch me, mm -hmm. that's who you were looking at when you were direct, when, when you were skied directly into your back. I do not recall Moses saying, mommy, mommy, watch me on the ski slope. Okay. Well, Apple was down further, right? Yes. She didn't see it. No. Okay. And Moses, he was the one, at least according to Carrie Oaks, was calling your attention. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nine-year-old, did he want more attention to have somebody watch them rather than 11? Not necessarily. Okay. Moses was skiing above you. Gwyneth is looking at this lady like, oh. <laughs> 
twist of peasantness for me. Oh, you sure wish that you could catch me up, but you don't know what kind of chick I am. You don't know. You don't know who you're dealing with. I know. You don't let this blonde hair fool you. <laughs> <laughs> me no fall for no okie doke, okay? Okay. Though, right? He hadn't gotten down as far as you. He was on my left. And up. I was on the right. He was, oops, sorry. He was on the left side of the slope. Um, yes, I believe kind of a little bit uphill. Okay. And that's where your attention was when you were hit allegedly in the back. I don't know where my attention was the moment I was struck in the back. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that's what you said, which is what happened. He struck me in the back. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Okay. I know, but you said I can still watch my children ski. <laughs> yes, and meaning directly it, into my back by someone, which is what happened. Yes, exactly. What's the, what's the pending question? It sounds like they're saying the exact same thing. What's the question? The question is, you were watching your children ski when you were struck in the back. So that's I've asked got a and question. answered, Your Honor. Overruled. You are an attorney. He said, so what's the question? You go, the question is, so you were looking directly at your son when you got struck in the back. Like, bitch, that sounds like a statement, not a question. Okay. <laughs> Inflect all you like. Okay. But that is not a question. It is a statement. Okay. Are you telling me that? Okay. Good for you. Thanks for sharing your thought. <laughs> Oh, this blue blazer ain't doing nothing for you, honey. Okay, not flattering. I was skiing and looking downhill as you do, and I was skied directly into by Mr. Sanderson. Okay. And your nine-year-old son, you will admit, was on your left and up bit. To my recollection. Okay. All right. And Carrie Oaks is the one who says that he was the one calling your attention. You'll have to speak to Miss Oaks. We will. All right. So I want to go through the accident a bit. Um, because we did this over video, mm -hmm. we didn't really get to act it out a whole heck of a lot. But I, I want to just kind of talk with you first um, mm -hmm. and, and see if this is your recollection of, of how it happened. Your Honor, I, I think this is improper. She should just ask her what happened than if she testified contrary to that earlier. Then she uh, cross-examines her with the deposition. And what's the objection? Uh, improper use of deposition testimony. It's a party. Under Rule 32, it can be used for any purpose. You okay. may proceed. Thank you. You were going along relatively slowly. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to kind of ask you a couple sure. questions. So let me know if anything I say is, is not accurate. Okay. okay. So um, you're going down relatively slowly when all of a sudden you heard a strange rustling noise behind you. Yes. Okay. And you felt like a rush of air in a strange way. Yes. Okay. And two skis slid in between my skis. That's correct. And all of a sudden there was a body from the whole front of a body pressing into my back. That's right. Okay. Like, we'll talk about this in a minute. And there was a man behind me pressing into me. How did you know it was a man? Because he was making some strange noises that sounded male. And he was large. So I assumed it was a male. Okay, he was large? I felt all my back okay. pressing. Okay. You see how little Gwyneth is, right? Okay, everybody's big to Gwyneth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gwyneth is a tiny, tiny woman, okay? She's a very, very skinny woman, okay? Don't be jealous. <laughs> Everybody is big to her. She's like, God, that was huge. He was ginormous. A little old man. Like, God. <laughs> um, all right, there was a man pressing behind me pressing into me. Mm -hmm. I was extremely upset. Well, I was confused at first and I didn't know what, exactly what was happening. It's a very strange thing to happen on a ski slope. Um, and I, I, I agree. I, 
and I froze and it, I would say I was got very upset a couple seconds later. Okay. Let me just continue on here. I just want to make sure that I got this all right. I didn't know if it was an intentional assault of a sexual nature. Right. Okay. Um, was he grinding and thrusting or something or just the noises? What's what what made you think it was a an a, a sexual assault? So that was a quick thought that went through my head when I was trying to reconcile what was happening. I was skiing and two skis came between my skis forcing my legs apart and then there was a body pressing against me and there was a very strange grunting noise. So my brain was trying to make sense of what Hey, sounds about right to me. Checks checks all my boxes of accuracy. Absolutely. And not to mention this, if two skis slid between her sleeve, her skis, how does that happen if she ran into him? <laughs> you explain that to me. Explain it. He ran into the back of her, right? His skis went in between hers, so they fall back. That's why she fell on him. Because he f slid behind her, okay? When a dude come up behind you that close, yes, that is the first thing you think, okay? <laughs> and ma'am, for you to be a ma'am and act like you don't understand what I'm saying is offensive, okay? It is offensive. <laughs> what was happening, I thought... Am I, is this a practical joke? Is someone like doing something perverted? This is really, really strange. My mind was going very, very quickly and I was trying to ascertain what was happening. Okay. Um, and I think you said, I didn't know if it was an accident, but he was groaning and grunting in a very disturbing way. Yes. Yes, there was a sort of groan coming out of his mouth. Okay. Then you said, I froze. Yes. We kept skiing. Right. We went to the right. Yes. We came crashing down together. That's right. Okay. You said this man was behind me on the mountain. My knee and our skis will, were still sort of tangled up. Mm hmm. Yes. Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Our bodies were almost spooning and I moved away quickly. Yes. And, I knee, and my knee splayed open and I was completely in shock. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop there. Okay. And if. The court and Ms. Paltrow, if you don't mind, since, again, when we did this over Zoom, would you mind stepping down and us kind of acting this out a little bit so I could get a good feel? Let's see. Can we approach her honor? Sure. Like, no, you are not about to go up here and grind on Gwyneth Paltrow. No, okay? <laughs> no, your honor. You bet not allow that. No. Ew. Oh, my God. You know what? On that, I got to go. That is gross. I'm offended, ma'am. <laughs> Do you mind if I try that what he had did? <laughs> oh, now them split ends is starting to make sense. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool, lawyer lady. Not cool at all. Mama Nota appreciate that. Like she ain't already traumatized enough. Leave Gwen alone. Now, Gwen, tell me how to tell me about that Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper it in my good ear or both ears because they're both good. Okay. I hear good, remember bad. I got bad memory. <laughs> With that, y'all know what to do. Okay. Like and subscribe and behave. Behave. Okay. Because I'm not going to do it. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Mama love you. Yes, yeah, she do. Indeed, she do. Mm-hmm.